In this example, we're asked to determine how many rows are going to be required to create a truth table for this compound proposition. It's P implies Q, or not R implies S, and not U implies not Q. And so, uh, the question is, first of all, how many rows are required? It doesn't ask us to actually uh, create the truth table, right? It's just asking us how many rows are required. And so this is entirely a function of how many propositions there are. And remember that any uh, negation is related to the original proposition. So let's just color code these. So we have P, that's one. We have Q, we have R, that's a different one, right? We're up to, we have S, so so far everything's different. And we get up to U, still everything's different. And then not Q, not Q is the same proposition wise as Q. And so actually here we have five propositions. So there's five propositions in total here. All right, now our truth table has to account for all possible combinations of the truth values of these two things. And for each one of these, P, Q, R, S, U, there are two, two possibilities, right? Either they're true or they're false or not U, not R, not Q are either true or they're false, right? And so that means that we have two possibilities each and we have five different places here. And so the total number, so the total number of rows necessary is going to be two to the fifth power or 32 rows. So that's to get all possible combinations of these five different propositions, truth values, we need to, we need to make, create a truth table with 32 rows. That's a lot, right? So that's why we, we don't want to actually do this one because uh, that means every column is going to have 32 entries in it. So we'll, we'll do 16 T's, 16 F's for the first one and then cut it down to 8 by 8 by 8 by 8, etc. Now the second part of the question is can we derive a formula for the number of rows, so a general formula for the number of rows in a truth table with compound propositions made up of n simple propositions. So the idea here is that the n, the number n, is the number 5 from this example, right? So we had 5 up here, I wrote propositions. There are 5 simple propositions, and then everything else is built out of those. So the, those are P, Q, R, S, U. Q, not Q, not U, and not R are actually compound propositions by this by this uh, reasoning. And so just based on our, our reasoning that we got this 2 to the 5th power, we can say then that a truth table with n propositions, n simple propositions, is going to have 2 to the n rows. All right, so n simple props has 2 to the power n rows. And so these things can grow very, very quickly, right? So um, we're only going to compute by hand ones with small n, but you can create these in a, with a computer pretty easily, for even for pretty big n.